Same day as our first mystery cache. This is our first um, multi cache that we're looking for. There's the first set right there. Can't read it. Won't let you read it too, because they'll give away the location of the cache. Well, after some brief GPS troubles, we figured out that it's taking us to Walmart, so here we go. So we got hungry and went home for dinner. So this is day two, looking for the second spot of this multi-cache. Well, after some serious GPS uh, struggles, we had to revert to the old 2000-something year, year old uh, geocache. We finally found the right place. There's the next set of coordinates. Phew! At location number two. We think it's on this light pole. Right here. Yep, that was easy. And there it is. Okay. Second set of coordinates. We are near point three and we're just gonna have to hop out of the car real quick, look, and jump back in. There it is. Alright. We are approaching a final location, location of this multi-cache. Or at least we think so. Oh. Yeah, it's that way. Yeah, I think right by those trees. And uh We'll see if we can find it. Approaching ground zero. Amongst the trees. Where's the GPS in? This way, 31 feet. It's definitely among the trees here. I think it's in here. Yeah, hold on. Woo! All right. Wait, I think I see it over there. I'm coming back out. Thought I saw something. No, it's... Yeah, that's it. In a bag? The container. I don't know where the lid is. Well, do you see it? It's destroyed. Yeah. It's just a log book. Alright. Yeah. Well. Tell the guy about it. Well, what do you think about this one? Kind of a disappointment. Yeah. Um, I think it would have been better if the points that we were at were more interesting. Maybe they're special to, like, the, the one who hid the, the geocache, but... They're pretty, um, normal spots. I'm not impressed with the first, um, multi-cache. Multi yeah, are you? Nope. Mm. Well, that's our first multi-cache.